Hi America, Frank DeSoma, owner and founder of Patriot Ordnance Factory, where we build the ultimate fighting machines to defend us against tyrants and tyranny. And I'm probably gonna to talk to you a little bit about tyrants and tyranny. April 19th, 1775, Patriots, like you and I, banded together to fight a tyrannical government with a tyrant in charge. They got sick of being taxed without representation. They got sick of a lot of things where the tyrant ruled and controlled and took whatever they want. And now we can fast forward to 2016. Let me see, let me tell you America a little bit about my business. I never cared about money. Money's just paper with ink on it. It is a necessary item to have because you need to provide for your family put a roof over their heads, put clothes on their back, put food in their bellies. But money's not a turn on. In 1992, I said goodbye to my family. On November 11th, Veterans Day, at 8.30 in the morning, I had a brain tumor surgery. I survived. They took the brain out. They left room for the tumor to expand and grow, so I'm still here today. No, I'm teasing. But it was serious, and I'm here. And I chose to work. I wanted to continue work. I didn't want to go on social security, poor me, poor me. I got bad vision, I'm deaf, my face doesn't move correctly, my dexterity's bad, but hey, I can still make it in this world. I want to do everything I can and live my life. I want to live it as a free man of free will. But I didn't realize that when I started a company that I had a partner in my business that I never even asked to be there. Kind of like someone coming in your house and just moving in with you and your family and eating your food and taking your car and going someplace. How about you got money in the bank? Start using that. You know, it's the same thing. So I didn't know I had a partner because this partner hates everything we do. They hate guns. They go around and gave an oath to defend the Constitution against foreign and domestic enemies, but they're doing everything to wipe out the Second Amendment and the First Amendment, and many more. And these are our politicians. So it kind of reminds me of an era in time that I'll bring back. So let me show you something. So we'll go back in time to 1920s, the Roaring Twenties. You know, when Guido and Bruno, hey boss, decided that they're gonna give protection to all the shops in Chicago. So what they would do is they would visit those shops on a Friday and they wanted a hot meal and there better have been a, a nice bag full of 20s, crisp 20s sitting there. Cause Guido was gonna go over and eat that nice meal and take the bag of 20s and Bruno was gonna make sure they got the 20s. Cause if they didn't, Guido would send Bruno out back with the owner of the shop and beat him within an inch of his life. So next time they, vet, they came, Bruno had a hot meal and there was two bags of 20 sitting there. So they both got fed. It kind of reminds me of today. Fast forward to 2016. Instead of having the mafia visiting you for protection, we now have the federal government. So why is it hard to grow a business in America these days? You got all these people with dreams and aspirations that are getting killed and strangled by the federal government. Why is that? Because not only do you have a 35% tax rate as a corporation, oh, I have to pay 11% on the widget I build, excise tax. You know, it's part of our constitution. I didn't see anything in there that said the right for insurance, Obamacare. I didn't see anything that said the right of banking you know, bailouts, but it says something about the right to bear arms in the Constitution, but I have to pay 11% excise tax. So let's do some simple math here. 35% plus 11% excise tax, wow, that's 46%. We haven't even talked about state or city tax now. So 50% of my business and other businesses around the country like mine in the firearms industry, is given to the federal government that sits there with these corrupt politicians and demonize us that we're some bad people. 50% of 
I have a partner I never wanted. I didn't want Guido or Bruno, and I sure in the hell don't want the federal government involved. What have they done? They waste money. Our country's $19 trillion in a deficit. These people know nothing. They're clueless. They create nothing. They know nothing. They do nothing. And they sure bullshit and lie about everything. And they become all our best friends, America, during the election year. So if you want to grow our country and get businesses going again, hiring people, bringing new technologies in and getting most of manufacturing fired up in this country again, you reduce the tax rate of corporate America to 15%. That would give companies like myself and companies throughout the nation more operating capital to buy capital equipment, have new technologies brought in, hired more skilled labor, and ignite our nation to excel in growth. Any politician that talks otherwise, like giving money to, to schools or colleges, that's not going to help this country go. Big business having the high tax rate is still going to offshore. We at Patriot Ordnance Factory refuse to offshore anything. We build 100% U.S. owned, U.S. made products. And we will struggle through this, but it's a struggle. So if you really want to grow our nation and alleviate the deficits we have and have jobs for American citizens, because we'll hire a lot more, only if our tax structure is lower on the corporate level. Because it ain't greedy America that's here. It's not all about greed. It's common sense. We can't grow a business if we're getting taxed. And I shouldn't have to give 50% of what I make and earn to the federal government, nor should you. Wake up, America. Wake up. Wake up before we lose all our freedoms and liberties that we have, before it's too late. God bless America.